Welcome to the MacMerlin QMK Configurator Tutorial. The purpose of this video is to help you navigate through the user interface and show you how to make a keyboard firmware for your keyboard. All links mentioned in this tutorial will be listed in the description section down below. Step 1. Navigate to config.qmk.fm in a browser of your choice. Step 2. Select the keyboard you are creating firmware for. There is no such thing as a universal keyboard firmware that will work on all boards. Some boards may also share the same name, but have a different version. Please make sure you choose the correct keyboard. I'll say that again. Please be absolutely sure you have chosen the correct keyboard. For today's example, I'll be using the KBD Fans DZ60. It is a 60% PCB supporting multiple layouts and uses an Atmega 32U4 microcontroller. Do not mistake this for other similarly named boards such as the DZ60 RGB, V1, or V2. This is simply the DZ60. Step 3. Select your desired layout. This layout should match your physical keyboard's layout as close as possible. The QMK contributors have tried their best to provide as many layouts as possible. Unfortunately, we still cannot match everyone's use case. For example, if layout underscore all is chosen, but you have the 6.25U spacebar, simply fill out these three keys with all space. If you only have four keys, well, then you'll have to do some guess and check to see which of these five keys you should put the four keys in. Step 4. Give your keymap a name that you can remember and easily find. Step 5. Learning how to populate your keymap. Some keyboards such as this have defaults already predefined. In that case, you can simply hit load default and the keyboard will be populated. However, in some cases, a default keymap has not yet been contributed. For example sake, let us create the keymap the old-fashioned way. Creating your keymap can be done in three ways. Number one, drag and drop. Drag and drop keys from the selections down below to the keyboard layout visual. Number two, clicking. You can click a spot on the keyboard visual and then click a key code from down below. Number three, use a keyboard to input the desired key code. Click on a spot on the keyboard visual and press a key on your physical keyboard. If you would like to speed up the key map entry, click on the settings gear icon on the top right and toggle the fast input switch. With this, you can start at the top left of your board and just populate your key map by typing on your keyboard and it will progress to the next key position automatically. Choose any combination of key map entry to create your key map. Step 6. Learning what you want in your key map. Key codes are separated into five different tabs. If you are unsure what a key code does, hover over it and the description will appear in a blue bar on the bottom of your screen. The first two tabs are ANSI and ISO containing the most commonly used ANSI and ISO keys. The next tab is Quantum. Quantum contains keys unique to QMK. In here, you'll find keys such as MO, which is most often known as your FN key. You'll find things such as Layer Tap, which lets you tap a key for a key code and hold for a layer, and even an Any key if there is a key code not supported by the configurator. The Keyboard Settings tab contains several settings such as Backlight and RGB Underglow. Lastly, the App, Media, and Mouse tab allows you to choose things such as muting your volume or turning it up and down. If you would like even more detail on what a key code does, please click the key code reference link to read some of QMK's documentation. If you would like more than one layer on your keyboard, simply click the layer you want to modify. This is located to the left of the keyboard visual. If you would like to delete an entire layer, simply click on the trash button below with the layer you want selected. Step 7. After you have created your keymap and are satisfied, make sure you press the Export Keymap button. 
This saves the key map you've created in JSON format so you can import it back in at a later time for additional edits. The JSON file is made specifically for editing within QMK Configurator and will not be compatible with other tools. This is not the file you flash on your keyboard. I'll say that again. This is not the file you flash on your keyboard. Step 8. Press the compile button and wait for the potato to finish baking. If you hate potatoes, for some reason, and would rather not see one baking, you can click anywhere on your screen to disable the animation. You can still keep track of progress by paying attention to the terminal window. Step 9. Once the compilation is done, you can press the download firmware button. After the download has completed, you may flash this file onto your keyboard using tools such as QMK Toolbox. Depending on your board, this firmware file may have different file extensions. For AVR powered boards such as the DZ60 that I have here, the firmware file extension should be .hex. For ARM powered boards, the firmware file extension should be .bin. This is true for most cases. Make sure you have the correct file. For more details on how to flash your board, please refer to my QMK Toolbox video. Optional Step 10 You may have noticed that upon finishing a successful compilation, two other buttons were now clickable. If you would like access to the full source of your keyboard to perhaps add macros or custom code, please press Download Full Source. If you already have a developer environment set up and simply need a keymap file, you can press the Download Keymap Only button and you will get a keymap. If at any time you need to reference this video again, you may simply click the wizard hat on the top right. It will link to the newest version of my QMK Configurator tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and that I have made the process even a little easier. If you need additional help or have further questions, please leave a comment or visit the QMK Discord. All links are provided down below.